Hey guys, it's me again. So this is our third week and our third pose. I'm wearing the same shirt because I'm recording this all on one day. I actually do have other outfits and when I get a little more fancy, um, you'll see those. So, <laughs> but back to you and back to this practice. Um, today we're going to focus on a back bend. So we've talked about grounding and balancing the nervous system in subtle ways. We've talked about forward bending and increasing a sense of um, settling in the body. And today we're talking about stimulating the body. So bringing a little more lift to the chest. So a lot of times we'll lift and spread across the collarbones in yoga class. And so that's what we're focusing on here. Um, the pose I want to teach is called Cobra Pose. It's a relatively simple back bend. You do need to be able to lie on your stomach. So if you're pregnant, you can try a variation just on your hands and knees on all fours. That's another option. But um, watch first and then try along with me. And those of you who are teachers know that the whole back bend family kind of fits into this category of, uh, as you may have heard, kind of uplifting mood, stimulating the nervous system, and, and can be helpful in bringing people out of a, a sense of lethargy or, or a funk. Um, if you're someone who's experiencing trauma, if you're having a hard time getting out of bed in the morning, if you're having um, just feelings of overwhelm or feeling really shut down, um, these gentle poses can help bring a little bit more life and, and we would say in yoga prana or life energy into your body. So watch closely, practice, and if you have questions, please send them to me. All right, let's get to the mat. So here I go. I'm going to show you cobra pose. So lie down on your mat on your belly and place your hands right next to your rib cage. Now you might want to rock back and forth a little bit so you get comfortable. You can't see my feet, but my toes are pointing straight back behind me. So toes pointed, tops of the feet on the floor, hands next to your rib cage. You're going to look a little bit in front of you on the yoga mat, and I'll keep glancing forward. You might want to watch this first and then practice it just so you don't have to crane your neck. Inhale to lift your chest. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift your chest a little higher. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and down your back. Exhale to lower. One more time. Inhale to lift up. And exhale to lower. Now we're going to hold the cobra pose. So press the tops of your feet down into the floor. Energize your legs. Keep reaching your tailbone back towards your heels so the lower back stays as long as possible. Inhale to lift your chest. Gaze a little bit forward and hold here. Keep breathing. Good. And maybe even try to lift your hands up off the floor, like you could slide a little piece of paper underneath them. And then a little more bend in your upper back to lift, and as you exhale, push up to all fours. That's it, that's Cobra Pose. So if you have a question about that, um, there's plenty of pictures of it online as well, if you just look up Cobra Pose. Uh, but I'm also happy to answer your questions. Again, this is a pose that lifts the chest. Obviously, we're lifting the chest the whole time. And you want to really think about bringing energy into the top of your chest and around your collarbones. So that's the opposite of kind of a depressed stance, like rounding forward, is to lift. So practice this, especially if you're someone who has a hard time getting out of bed in the morning. You can practice it in the morning. Um, if you're just feeling kind of down or off during the day, you can practice this pose and you're really working with the nervous system of your body. So you're stimulating the nervous system gently by practicing this pose. All right, best of luck to you and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week for our last pose. Bye-bye.